Sometimes there's just no substitute for the functional fidelity that data can bring to an IRS simulation. Showing how data will be displayed and manipulated can be a powerful tool for communicating and validating software requirements. Data sheets are one of the components that make this possible in IRIS. The purpose of a data sheet is to store data that your simulation will use to visualize an application. The first step in making this happen is creating and populating your data sheet. Let's take a look at how this is done in IRIS. Since a data sheet is a directory component, we'll create a new one by using the New Component menu. Let's name it with all caps to make it stand out from other data sources we might have in our simulation. A data sheet is similar to a spreadsheet. The name you add to each column header will become a field label that you can use when creating data flow in your simulation. Each row of data in your data sheet makes up a data record, which is a grouping of related data. Data records, like field labels, will be an important factor when you want to display or manipulate data in your simulation. In some cases, it makes sense to maintain a data set outside of Studio. The CSV import and export feature make this easy. Let's export our data sheet to a CSV file and then open it in a spreadsheet application. Watch what happens if we add some new data to the CSV file and then import the file back into Studio. As you can see, the new data as well as the existing data was appended to the data sheet, so we have some duplicate records, which is easily fixed. You can also copy and paste data from one data sheet to another or within a data sheet and sort your records by the contents of any column. You can even add images to a data sheet, but we cover that in detail in another video. You'll also want to check out our other videos to learn about the different things you can do with your data sheets once you have them built. Signing out for now. Thanks for watching.